22nd of May 2017. Let's have a look at this week's Trades of the Week uh, video here. Uh, starting off with UK oil. Uh, lovely return in the market there uh, on the 11th of May as those indicators rotated from red to green, giving us that buying opportunity. That was a $1.93 move or um, uh, 193 pips or points uh, move from that buy there from the 11th to 50.74. Market moving really nicely the first couple of days, pausing sideways and then moving on through to that target. So a good healthy profit in line with that longer term trend. And as you might expect, uh, US oil uh, was a similar picture. So uh, NYMEX crude there, again a buy from the 11th of May at 47.80. Uh, again, moving on really nicely as oils have really had uh, a very smooth few rotations really. You can look at the daily charts at the moment, lovely smooth turns. Uh, very easy to identify those rotations using our uh, trend signal parameters uh, that you can see on the charts there. Uh, what we can also see, particularly keeping with commodities actually, whilst we're still in uh, com copper trade, we're still in silver at the moment, but gold has gone through to hit our objective too. And again, nice smooth move there also, uh, giving us that buy from the 15th there. So last Monday going through, giving us our objective there, hitting target on Wednesday's move. So nice, uh, nice profit on that one as well for approximately approximately 150 points or 15 big dollars, 15.5 dollars, that's 150 points, 155 points on gold. Uh, what else have we had? Uh, well, a couple of currencies now. Let's have a look at sterling Swiss. See a nice short there, getting knocked out of that trade there, which is hugely frustrating, but a lovely short uh, side there. So from 128.48, market moving really nicely down uh, to our 100 point objective there on Sterling Swiss. And then also, let's have a quick look at dollar yen. Let's just zoom into the opportunity there. Short trade here from the 16th of May. Those indicators turning from green to red, identifying that rotation down. Uh, we've got the red line here, we've got the red line here. The I sniper identifying the point of the trade on the close of that bar at 113.08. This trade here, it's a short sniper. We're going against the longer term trend of the market. It's a 100 point objective, and it was a nice profit on that one, too. So there we are, a little handful of opportunities over the last uh, few days. Above all, what we're talking about here is simple rules based approach to trading that can help you identify those trading opportunities with clarity. So if you'd like to know a bit more about these trades and how you could potentially identify similar opportunities, then the thing to do is book a place for one of our free online trading webinars. What you should see somewhere on this web page uh, is the link and ability to register and book your own free place. And what we'll actually do is teach you a lot more about how we identify trades just like this 100 point winner on dollar yen, where we put stops, where we put targets, and how we manage those trades as well. So hopefully we look to see you online at that point. But until then, have a great week's trading and uh, we'll see you for more of the same next week. If you would like more information about trading the right way, TrendSignal is giving you the opportunity to see and hear about its services live at a free online seminar. Take a look at the TrendSignal website for the latest events and to book your free place.